Hi, I'm Justin Miller, the CEO and co-founder of New Hero. And today I'm reaching out and we're going to talk a little bit about my, uh, my hearing loss and, uh, and how that's uh, motivated IQ Buds today. The whole concept of New Hero and, and David and my motivation for co-founding it wasn't necessarily my personal um, issues, but for those that we'd seen over the course of a, a decade in industrial hearing, um, the struggles that uh, that people had in relation to their own hearing loss, and uh, you know, we heard it a million times. Oh, well, how do I get something like this for a, you know, how do you, someone develop something for a, uh, for a restaurant and and the like? Because uh, hearing aids in general had struggled with that whole concept of you know amplification of all noise rather than just speech. New Hero and IQ Buds as a product, we we wanted to develop something that was a, was appropriate for for everyone in every sort of circumstance, and uh, that's where the motivation for the product came from. My own hearing experience, and my own hearing loss, and it's uh, I have loss in one ear. Um, it is it is quite debilitating, and uh, uh, as I get older, it gets progressively worse. And uh, um, what IQ Buds enables me to do is balance myself out with hearing loss in one ear. I've got the ability to, to set the profile in such a way that it allows me to hear. Although I've been prescribed a hearing aid, I, I don't find it acceptable to wear at all times. I need some assistance in certain situations and, and those situations, uh, more often than not, are noisy social settings and uh, that's when I need some assistance. So a bar, or a restaurant or, or places where there are other noise, I'm trying to have a conversation. So the whole IQ Buds, it's technology, uh, it's quite unique in, this, in the sense that we're able to, uh, to um, provide some assistance to those people that need it in, in those sort of situations. So the introduction of the OTC legislation, the passing of the OTC legislation in, in the US has provided us with a significant opportunity. Um, so for those that are unaware, um, the legislation passed sees that people that have a mild to moderate loss no longer need to go to an audiologist and have a prescribed hearing aid and have a prescribed fitting. Now it's not our ambition to be a hearing aid, but what we do have is technology that suits those people from a mild to moderate loss. And that is, in that situation where uh, your hearing loss is first uh, noticed are, are generally noisy social settings. And our, our unique technology allows us to remove the background noise and promote the conversation at hand. And so that for those with mild to moderate loss, what the OTC legislation has done has brought some awareness and some, uh, I guess, some, some free enterprise into a space that was really strictly controlled. And, with the right technology, and technology has rapidly improved to the point where consumer electronics has, has fast met um, uh, the hearing aid industry, is providing us with a significant opportunity to bring all these parts of the function together and provide some assistance to those people at a price that's not cost prohibitive. So at a few hundred dollars, we're a long way from move from the average $1,500 per ear in the US at least anyway, that people are paying for hear aids. And those hearing aids go right up with some smarter technology right up into the $10,000 price point, but they're still struggling to meet the need for people um, that need some assistance in noisy social settings. And, and generally speaking, if you've got a hearing loss, that's where you need the assistance. So with our product, we're providing a solution that meets that need.